Good evening. Welcome to West Michigan Academy of Environmental Sciences graduation for the class of 2021. Tonight, we're going to celebrate in front of all these special people in front of us. Um, each of these individuals have shown courage, perseverance, and grit. They overcome obstacles, challenged self-doubt. They were a class that overcame a school closure two-thirds through their junior year. Their senior year was consistently in limbo. Close contacting, building closures, quarantine, self distance, or social distancing were constant topics each and every day. With everything, our, our students found a way. And really, of all the career and college readiness tasks that we prepare for these students, finding a way to get the job done truly is at the top of our list. Tonight's also a celebration for all the parents and family members who have helped guide and support these students. I commend your vision and support of these students. Since the first day of drop-off in kindergarten to the drive over here, you have found ways to meet their needs. You guided them through the challenges of friendships, heartbreaks, and struggles. You retaught academic work when it did not come easy. You hugged when there were no words. Parenting truly is one of those most challenging jobs that certainly doesn't come with too many pats on the back. Today, please parents and families compliment each other today because today is a pat on the back. Tonight's also a celebration for every teacher, support staff, and central office folks who are here and for those who are not here. Countless hours are spent to challenge, engage, and mold your mind. By walking across the stage and accepting these diplomas, seniors, you are achieving a goal that these folks had in mind for you. Without their dedication and creativity and love, we would not be sending into the world the people that we have in front of us. Finally, tonight, we will celebrate, we will also reflect. As one chapter starts to close, another adventure will begin. Tonight you're going to hear a, a theme of family. West Michigan prides itself on looking out for each other, supporting each other when we're down, and cheering when we're on top. During such a unique year, we've had to come and bond together. We've had to come overcome many obstacles and rely on each other more than ever. So as you hear from our Val Victorian, our salutatorian, and Miss Dillsworth, you're going to hear the theme of family and its impacts on this particular class. And to continue the celebration, I would like to introduce Ms. Christy Dillsworth, our senior advisor, to share some words. I hope that's not my car out there. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome. My name is Christy Dilsworth, and I'm proud to be speaking to all of you, students, faculty, family, and friends. Tonight is the night that 34 excited seniors have long awaited since their first day of high school four years ago. During those years, you seniors have all experienced good times and bad, have all laughed and cried, and have all struggled and succeeded. None of you, however, would have reached this graduation ceremony tonight had it not been the support from your family and friends. At this time, I would like to ask all of the graduating seniors to turn toward their families and show them appreciation by giving them a round of applause. Thank you. We did it, right? When you first entered the halls as freshmen, few of you had thoughts of graduation day on your minds. Instead, you were concerned with how to survive that first uncertain day of high school. You still talk about Mr. Cronister's supply boxes in his math class. But you also had Mr. Hunter's lunch menu ratings to look forward to every day. Will the lunch be a five out of 10? or 10 out of 10, or will it just be a mystery because we've never had that lunch before? Since that day, you set goals for yourself. Some goals were met, and some may not have been. At times, life gives us situations that alter our plans. I can think of no bigger example of this than the past year. Adapting to curveballs that are sometimes thrown your way is the true measure of a person and you surely have adapted during this pandemic. You may not have reached all your goals, but that, however, is not what is important. 
What is important is that you had the courage to set those goals in the first place. A person without goals is like a ship lost at sea. Both drift aimlessly with neither purpose nor direction. You can't just set goals and then stand by hoping they will come true. Your goals can only become reality through hard work, grit, and determination. I think of Mrs. Van Nord and all of you and how hard you worked to put on a very successful prom despite all of the obstacles. As times get tough in life, don't be afraid to reach out. Ask for help, seek advice, and listen. I remember watching your capstone presentations and was amazed about, about by the amount of support you had from Mrs. DeYoung and others. Great job. Just because you are graduating tonight does not mean you'll be sent off to navigate a course alone in life. I always think of an aircraft carrier. It looks like it is all alone in the sea, but actually that carrier has up to 10, sometimes 20 support ships and over 5,000 troops helping out. Your family, friends, and teachers are your support ships, and we are so proud of what you have accomplished so far in life. The lyrics of your class song by the band Group Love say, don't wave no goodbye. Goodbye isn't forever. So instead of saying goodbye, I will say see you soon. Good luck to all of you in the class of 2021. We will catch you on the flippity flip. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I have the honor this evening of introducing our salutatorian and valedictorian. So we'll start with our salutatorian. Uh, graduating a year early, finishing all of her credits a year ahead of time, Abby Clifford, our salutatorian. Hi. Boy, has this year just zoomed by. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> It seems like just yesterday we were starting our senior year, possibly the strangest senior year that our school has seen yet. From doing online capstone presentations to having an outdoor prom, nothing this year has been conventional, but we persevered. I have gone to this school since kindergarten, so to say that it has had a big impact on my life would be an understatement. From all the friends that I've made to academic opportunities, this school has been a part of it all. The same goes for any person that has walked the halls. Because of the small class sizes, everyone gets to know everyone, and the teachers get to form a strong connection with the students. This connection is shown by how successful the students are at our school. Recently, Mr. Bosker shared with us that the high school is ranked number five out of all the charter schools in Michigan. WMAES pushes its students in the best way possible. They provide dual enrollment and CLEP, which are both programs that allow you to get college credit at no cost to the students. These opportunities, as well as as well as the support from faculty is what sets WMAES aside from other schools. I can attest to that fact. Ever since third grade, I have had the dream of graduating a year early. My best friend was in the grade ahead of me, and we wanted to graduate high school together and to go to college together. Unfortunately, through the years, we grew apart, but I still made that dream come true as I'm standing here today, graduating a year early. It was always possible through the help of the faculty, especially Mr. Miller, this year, I probably sent him a countless number of emails <laughs> to ensure that everything was on track. He responded to each and every one and never even seemed the least bit annoyed. <laughs> I am so proud of everyone that is graduating here today. This year has been insanely tough, regardless if you were doing school in person or online. Of course, we couldn't have done it without the help of everyone who supports us day to day. Thank you to everyone who's able to make it out today to celebrate the class of 2021. Thank you to all of the teachers. I know having to juggle two sets of students must have been very difficult this year, especially Mrs. Young, who I know had to deal with an extra amount of tears and complaints from us. Thank you to Mr. Bosker for handling the administration and our weekly announcements. Thank you, Mr. Miller, for making sure that all of us could be here today. I would also like to thank my mom, my dad, my stepmom, and my boyfriend, Aiden, <laughs> for supporting me through this crazy year. Congratulations, class of 2021. We did it. Thank you, Abby. Very well said. And our valedictorian for this year, not only uh, 
excels in the classroom. Come on up. Not only excels in the classroom, but also excels as an athlete and is now no longer stuck in her chair. Uh, Miss Maya Kramer. Hi. Hi, guys. Okay. Hello, everyone. I have to start by saying that I never dreamed of being up here and giving this speech. Sure, I did hope for it, and my natural sense of competition made me want it at times, or most of the time, but I was truly surprised when I heard that I was a valedictorian of the class of 2021. You know, at some schools, people are valedictorian in a class of two, 300, or even 1,000 people. I'm valedictorian in a class of 34. Woo! <laughs> Still, it's a great honor, and I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for everyone here today. The first thing I would like to do is thank my family and friends for their constant love and support. My mom and dad for being my biggest cheerleaders and coaches. My grandma, because everyone knows that mom's greatest qualities come from her. And yes, even my brother for putting up with me and being my longest and earliest friend. And of course, I have to talk about my fellow graduates. It's weird to think that I won't be spending almost every single day with you guys, and it's really hard to say goodbye. But as Winnie the Pooh said, how lucky I am to have someone that makes saying goodbye so hard. A great many of you have become my amazing friends, and I could not be luckier to have spent one crazy memory-making senior year with you guys. From just dance in incredible teachers' classrooms to iCarly at lunch and everything in between, it reminded me how lucky I am to have you all in my life, and I love you guys. As a senior, you realize that a lot of growing had to be done in order to get to where you are. I look back and remember being like three feet tall in Mrs. Thompson's kindergarten class, and then I TA'd her elementary art class now as an almost grown, really hoping to hit six feet senior, and realized that I was that small, and I didn't know stuff. There is so much more to learn still, but I know more stuff. We seniors know a lot of stuff now, and I am proud of us. We know how to dance and laugh and divide polynomials, maybe. <laughs> I am so proud to see everything that we accomplished and worked through to get to where we are, and proud already of the people that we are going to be and the things that we are going to learn. We have been through a crazy four years together, and though we did have to miss many of our senior memories, we still banded together and made the most of it. Whatever goals we may have had before a worldwide pandemic may have changed, or maybe they didn't, but it is always important to spend some time figuring out what you want your goals to be before you go and start achieving them. We adjust because that is what we have always done. The sun doesn't always shine, shine so we use a flashlight. The snow starts falling, so we wear a coat. The world shuts down, so our senior year is spent with masks and webcams. And at the end of the day, we did it, and we freaking graduated. <laughs> As a random tweet says, 13-year-old me would think current me is so cool and hot, and that's really all that matters. <laughs> it took me a while to realize there is no absolute maximum potential that I have to reach, and at times, I still struggle with that. I think it's important to live a good, happy life, and to take it easy sometimes. We'll be good to each other and lead our lives deliberately and proudly. So thank you. Thank you, Mom and Dad, Grandma and Colin. Thank you, my amazing friends. Thank you, 2021 seniors. Thank you, teachers and staff. Thank you, parents, family, and friends of our graduates. And thank you, universe, for working out the way it did, for letting me know the people I know and love the people I love. I am proud of my life, not because of my accomplishments, but because I believe I make some people happy. A year ago today, you did not know today. You did not know how you'd make it here, but you made it here. By grace, you made it here. Morgan Harper Nichols, thank you all for being my grace. Thank you, Maya. I think there's a common theme that this is a pretty special group of people. Um, and so before we distribute diplomas, I kind of want to take a moment to kind of share some of the celebrations of this group. And, and this is one page, but we can go on and on and on. So um, I'd like to highlight that after graduation, 65% of our students are enrolled in post-secondary education. These schools range from GRCC to GVSU to University of Detroit Mercy. We even have University of Beirut represented tonight. Is that right, Mateo? Is that right? Nailed it. Perfect. Our students have been supported by over $150,000 worth of scholarship money to support them. Some of our celebrations that our students experienced while at West Michigan include being captain in criminal justice program, 
We have National Honor Society student members. We have a cross country Eagle Award winner. We have four year athletes. We have science Olympiad leaders. We have KCTC Student of the Year nominations. And 20% of our students are walking out with college credit. 100% are ready to take on the next challenge. Academically and personally, this truly is a special class. Um, we're going we're gonna to miss you seeing the hallways, um, but I really want West Michigan to always be a place you come back to. Uh, next. Um, next, we're going to celebrate a few students who are going to be earning um, some money that will help them towards a scholarship. Um, these are going to be celebrating uh, our Capstone Experience winners, students who have completed kindergarten through 12th grade at West Michigan Academy of Verbal Science the Choice Schools Associate Scholarship, as well as one scholarship entitled the Elementary to Graduation Scholarship. So if I could ask Misty Young to come up to present. It is truly an incredible privilege to be handing out these scholarships. We actually had uh, six of these seniors do such an incredible job on their capstone presentations that I had to host some kind of a tiebreaker. Um, and so the recipients of this scholarship are the two that earned those high marks. So capstone experience is <laughs> kind of a rite of passage here at WMAS. Our seniors need to, um, I, well, here, here's what I did in the fall. I said, what breaks your heart? And they told me what broke their heart. And I said, okay, great, now go fix that thing. And um, the amount of heart that these seniors poured into being a part of a solution to a problem that really bothered them was impressive. And I told them time and time again, your senior word this year is resilience. They had demonstrated incredible resilience this year. Most of our winter was spent working on these projects from home in our kitchens and our living rooms and our bedrooms. And it was just crazy. And so let me now, without further ado, present the runner-up, which is earning a $500 scholarship to um, whatever institution she would like to learn at next year. Um, she saw a real problem with some unfairness in the amount of feminine products available to um, young women. And so what she did is created a program here at our school um, so now we provide free feminine products to young students or high school students that can't afford them or come to school with them unprepared. And it's just such a huge help to the girls here at this school. So Christine DeCanter, where are you? Come on up. <laughs> Congratulations. Man, I wish all of these kids could win these awards because truly they poured their hearts into these projects. Um, the recipient of the $1,000 scholarship this year um, had a serious personal um, passion to see more and more staff get better at recognizing mental health issues among teens, especially in this year, in this place we find ourselves in the midst of a pandemic, right? People are hurting, students are hurting. And so staff, um, one of our most important jobs here, I think every teacher can agree, is to emotionally support students just as much as we support them academically. So Emma Kanukin, please come up. I could have been said it myself. Um, next, we have um, Mr. Stan Rathbun, uh, who serves as our superintendent, and he's going to help recognize the Dr. Sid Fawcett Honorary Scholarship. Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> so, uh, I'd like to add my congratulations to the class of 2021 for West Michigan. Um, this is a very, very special night, and you'll remember it forever. So, congratulations. Every one of you have a story, right? And like you, West Michigan Academy has a story also. And tonight, your story and West Michigan's story, the chapter will close. Maybe not, but for a lot of you, it will close. Maybe some of you will come back as teachers or administrators in the future. It's happened. 
But if you go back in time, a long, long time ago from your perspective, but not so long ago from my perspective, um, West Michigan had a crisis that caused it to almost close down. And so this is before the high school was purchased or the high school was built. And at that point in time, the board of directors, I'd like to point out uh, one board member, Dr. Philip Wheeler, who's been on the board for West Michigan since probably the first year uh, when it came into inception. Okay. So the board at that time uh, actually met with uh, Dr. Uh, Sidney Fawcett, and together they came up with a strategy and a plan to save the school and the rest is history. I think it's safe to say that there's a good chance that you would not be sitting here if those groups did not come together. And out of uh, Dr. Fawcett's uh, plan came Choice Schools, which has served continuously as the educational service provider since then. So in honor of Dr. Fawcett, I'd like to present the award, but I'd like to take a moment just to read what it is. And I think it's very important that when we, we give out awards in honor of somebody that you were doing it for a good reason. And while you've earned it, they've also earned the recognition that goes with it. There's many people that could be in that position. Whoops, I got it upside down. So let me read this for you. It's the Dr. Sidney L. Fawcett Honorary Scholarship. This scholarship goes to those annually, to those graduating seniors who have been continuously enrolled at West Michigan Academy of Environmental Science from kindergarten through 12th grade and have been accepted into college or university in pursuit of two or four year degrees. Students meeting this criteria must also have demonstrated positive character traits throughout their educational experience at West Michigan. Dr. Sidney Fawcett, the founder of Choice Schools Associates and a lifelong educator was deeply involved in the successful effort to transform West Michigan into one of the most highly esteemed charter schools in Michigan. Dr. Fawcett believes that all people can rise above their current circumstances if they have a big enough dream, undying hope, and a relentless work ethic. He believes that the character is more important than the accomplishment and that team success is more important than personal recognition. He believes that public service is the moral obligation to future generations and that giving is far better than receiving. He is a passionate student of servant leadership, a lifelong learner, and a lover of his family and a friend to everyone he meets. So in honor of Dr. Fawcett and his family, I would like to recognize those uh, students who will be receiving this award tonight. And there's going to be seven of you. So when you come up, um, what do you want? Yeah, if you come up and Allie, could you help pass out the award? And then if you could go in front of the uh, arrangement over there and Nicole from Choice Schools will take your picture. And I think they're going to allow you to take your mask off briefly for that if you could get together. So. You are the recipients of the Dr. Sidney Fawcett K-12 Honorary Scholarship. Andrew Badoon. <laughs> Sharon DeLeon. <laughs> Abigail Herrera. <laughs> Colin Kramer. Maya Kramer, Amber Lamsey, yep. Dominic Lockett. Okay, we can figure it out. Maya. Thank you. And while they're getting their picture taken, I'd like to say I'm, I'm going to be retired in a few weeks. I've been my honor to serve as superintendent here at West Michigan for the last eight years. And but uh, we've got a great person coming in to serve as superintendent, someone that had taught here, moved on to be a principal, a highly successful principal in a top notch school out of Muskegon. And she's back, Allie Dubois. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I sat in those seats uh, where all of our staff are 10 years ago today and fell in love with West Michigan. I couldn't be happier.
to be back as acting superintendent to uh, hand out scholarships to those of you uh, who have earned them. The first scholarship that I'll be handing out is the Thrive Scholarship. Choice Schools gives this out annually to a WMAS graduate senior who has overcome personal challenges in pursuit of their education and has been accepted into college or university to pursue, to pursue a two or four year degree. Students meeting these criteria must also have demonstrated a positive character traits throughout their educational experience. Okay. So the scholarship goes to Abigail Herrera. Can you hand We have two more scholarships, and this is actually a new one um, that was developed relatively recently. Um, this is called the Choice Schools Associate Scholarship, and it's being awarded to two students um, who stood out this year. Um, and they, this is going to be a scholarship awarded to a college-bound senior who is graduating from school, managed by Choice Schools Associates, and is a child of a current employee. So you have to deal with me as the, your mom's boss or dad's boss, so that's how it works out. Uh, Emma Kanukin. and Michaela Brosnan. Uh, we have one more scholarship. This is a little bit more unique. Um, this one we looked at specifically the upper elementary all the way to high school, or to graduation. So we call it the elementary to graduation scholarship. And the idea behind this is we really want that perseverance. Um, and, and although every single one of you would qualify for this, we only look for students who are here th during that entire time um, and who really stood out in a variety of different ways. Um, and this particular student I'm very excited to give this to, uh, she really demonstrates every, all the characteristics we want in a student at West Michigan. Um, so. Sharon Delion. <laughs> All right, you've heard from your friends, you've heard from your teachers. Now it's the moment we make this official. So let's have our front row here. Andy, you can lead your group down this way. And we are going to pass out some diplomas. So parents and family, I just want you to know it's completely appropriate to lose your mind when I announce their names, because these kids have worked hard for this, and we need to recognize that. So we have our uh, school principal, secondary principal, Mr. Alan Bosker, Mr. Philip Wheeler, who you uh, met a little bit earlier today, and our board president, Matthew Smith, will all be helping in handing out diplomas here. So our first up is Andrew Badoon. Chloe Bird. <laughs> Michaela Brosman. <laughs> we 
Lydia Bunning. Our salutatorian, Abigail Clifford. Christine DeCanter. <laughs> Yadira Duran. <laughs> Isaiah Farrell. Rafael Garcia. <laughs> Abigail Herrera. <laughs> Lucas Hilt. Emma Kanukin. <laughs> Colin Kramer. <laughs> Our valedictorian, Maya Kramer. Amber Lancy. <laughs> Dominic Lockett. <laughs> Alondra Marroquin Ayala. Ian Mulvihill. <laughs> Carolina Noriera Martinez. <laughs> Jeff Oxus. Jeremy Palin. <laughs> Olivia Parsons. <laughs> Zoe Payton. Hannah Pugsley. Osvaldo Rivera, Jr. J. 
Jacob Rocha Martinez. Louise Soper. Mateo Taxis. Cohen Tigalar. Leone Tumler. Evan West. By the way, this is my favorite part of my whole year right here. So just, just for the record, this is my favorite moment. Um, we're going to conclude the night in just a moment, but I want to share a few logistical details, COVID-related. Um, we're going to announce the graduating class in just a moment. Um, they are going to be exiting the way they came in, go straight outside. I don't think it's raining. Sure, it's not raining. It's not raining, kids. Don't worry about it. Um, they're going to go straight outside, and they're going to spread out along the, the sidewalk so that you guys can come find them. Um, I will ask, as the public leaves, can we go row by row just to kind of help it be a little bit orderly? But uh, seniors, can you stand up for me? And now it is my great pleasure that I get to announce the West Michigan Academy of Environmental Sciences Class of 2021. Congratulations.